guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the last episode, episode number five of Beginners Makeup Series. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss how to put on a pair of falsies. So if you're new to my channel and this is the first video you're watching, I'm Sara. I make beauty related content on this channel and I upload twice every week. But this week was special and we were running a beginner's makeup week. Well, every day there was one video on one particular step of your makeup routine. So if you've not seen those videos, I'm going to link them in the description section for you. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please make sure that you do hit that big red subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. So this particular makeup look that I'm wearing right now is not a part of today's video but I have filmed a tutorial for this makeup look as well which will be up on Instagram on my IGTV so my handle is right here. Go follow me on Instagram and check that video out. For today's video we are discussing the last segment for the beginners makeup series and that is how to put on a pair of fake eyelashes. So if you're interested to learn how to do that then please keep on watching. Alright so to begin with to apply your lashes you need to coat your lashes first with one layer of mascara that's what I like to do I don't prefer to curl my lashes because then they get like too curly and then they get in the way of applying your falsies so just one light coat of a mascara is what you want to apply so here I'm using the essence lash princess mascara uh, just gonna take like a little bit scoop out all the excess from the wand and then you want to coat your lashes completely from the base to the tip if you're afraid of taking your mascara very close to your eyes which is a problem that many beginners face they get very scared to take their mascara close to their eyes so just like look on top and place this at the base as close as you can and blink that's all i advise everyone to do and even when i am doing others makeup that's all i do Keep your mascara wand at the base of your lashes as close as you can get and then blink. It will coat 90% of your lashes like this. So do the step slowly. You don't want too much product and don't want your lashes to get clumpy. That's why we just removed all the excess. Just want one light coat of mascara. So now that these lashes are coated, I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Take some more product and remove all the excess from the wand. When you're applying uh, falsies, it's okay if your mascara is not very volumizing or not very um, lengthening or any of that because falsies are going to do the job. So even if it's an average mascara, it's fine. Just that you don't want it to clump on your lashes. So it should not be too old or too clumpy. Alright, so now that my top lashes are coated, I'm going to go with a light coat on the bottom lashes as well so that the mascara's job is done. For that, you just have to look down, look in your mirror. Again, be very careful to not get mascara flex on your face and ruin your face makeup. Alright, so this completes our step number one. Both our bottom and top lashes are coated with mascara. To dive into step number two, you need to pick the correct falsies for you. So now if you're looking for something affordable, some of the affordable brands that make great fake lashes are Pack, Pro Art and uh, Euro Paris. So these three have really great affordable eyelashes. You need to pick out according to what you want. Like they are sometimes very long very dramatic, very clumped up. According to what your needs are, you need to select like really long lashes or really dense lashes which will add a lot of drama or you can go into something very subtle which has very few eyelashes on it so that it just gives you like a flirty, teasy appearance but not too much if you don't want to go all out with your fake lashes. So you get a lash to suit your personal need. You can go in a store and pick them out or you can do that online as well. I personally prefer the lashes which the company Glomia Beauty makes because these lashes last a lot longer. Like every time I use them, I just have to clean the rope of the lashes and remove the extra lash glue and I can reuse it. So I've been using these for quite a while and I use them for a lot of my looks and they stay. Like when you buy very cheap lashes like Euro Paris and Pack and all, one or two uses and then you'll see that they are just falling apart and you can't use them anymore. 
so that doesn't happen with these guys they are a little expensive but she does run offers on her website i will leave the website down below so this particular lash i think is soho or divine i'm not very sure because both are very very similar to each other and both don't have the name anymore on them that's how many times i've used it but now hold the lashes from the hair side leave the rope on top three you need to see that the lash is fitting you perfectly now since this eyelash has been used by me many times and unfortunately for this video i could not get a fresh pair since everything online has been shut right now so you have to just place them on your lashes once and check if they are perfectly fitting your eye shape so sometimes lashes are a little too long for some people who have smaller eyes for them lashes might just outgrow from the outside so all you have to do is take a pair of scissors and trim them according to your particular eye shape and in that you will be losing one or two hairs but that's completely all right you have to make sure that it's fitting your eye properly like it should be just the size of your eye socket if it's too long it's going to like droop down or just look very odd outside or if it's like very short then it's not going to frame your eyes perfectly mostly you'll find them longer not shorter so if they are longer for you you need to cut the excess always remember that once you fit the lashes to your eyes and you know it's the perfect size you directly have to go in to apply the lashes So for that you need a lash glue of course the lash glue I'm using which I absolutely love is the Euro Paris lash glue you get it in different colors this color right here is black but you can buy white you can buy clear you can buy whatever the main purpose of the lash glue is just to paste the lashes on top so if you buy black it merges with the eyeliner so that's why I prefer black you can also get clear lash glue which will not show that much on your eyes So one thing again is not to use excess product so you need to really make sure you're taking very little lash glue you don't want to clump up any product on the lash line on of the fake lashes so just a very thin layer of lash glue on your lashes and if you've used them many times make sure that the previous lash glue has been removed properly which is the case with my lashes for that you just can use tweezers or makeup remover or your nails to remove all the old lash glue so once you've coated your eyelash with lash glue you want to make sure that it's dry so you can just flick it in air or you can blow on it and make sure that it's dry like it has to be tacky so maybe about 20 30 seconds after you apply lash glue you can place them on your eyelid so that glue is tacky and not very wet otherwise it will leave a very prominent line on your lashes all right so don't want them to dry too much also So this particular lash if you can see very closely it has lesser hair over here and it has more hair over here so it properly frames like this so it belongs to this eye sometimes eyelashes are universal they can go on any one of the eyes but you need to make sure that you're seeing the eye shape properly so i do have an eyelash applicator but i'm going to show you one eye without that just with your fingers all you have to do is close your eyes and this is going to be difficult because i've never done it while talking But close your eyes and place this as close as you can to your lash line. Start directly with the middle section and then press it on the end and then press it in the front. And there you have it your lash is applied. So the main thing how you attack your lashes once you've placed it close approximated it as close to your lash line as possible first press it in the central portion then press it on the outer side and then press it on the inner side Now if you feel like it's coming out from any side or it's not applied properly you might have to remove the entire thing again and do it practice makes you perfect when it comes to lashes and winged eyeliner and stuff like that but uh even after practice you end up making a lot of mistakes even i do even today i have to reapply my lashes many times and it doesn't go properly the very first time so don't be disheartened so this lash is all applied it makes the world of a difference so we are going to do the same thing on the opposite eye now the main areas you should always cover with your lash glue are the front and the end like the tip and the end of the lashes because those are the areas from where the lash starts coming out very soon in the evening so if you properly apply glue And really like wait it for it to dry out. It will stay on a lot longer. It doesn't come off like that. If this glue is really good, the Euro Paris one, you should try to get the Euro Paris lash glue. It's really really good. The glue really matters because that's what's going to keep your lash held in place, and you don't want it to fall off. 
and yeah it takes some time getting used to false eyelashes like the first time you put it you might feel like it's blurring your vision it's coming in your eye but once you blink a couple of times you will get used to it and then you're addicted to it it's really an addiction you can't do eye looks without one more thing i want to say is make sure that the end of your lash is on your low upper lash line itself and it's flicked upwards it's not drooping down many times when they are long the excess starts to fall down and then your whole eye look and your eyes are drooping downwards you don't want that you want them to be uplifting and make your eyes look very nice and uplifted and snatched so that's why i'm saying cut the excess off so that you don't have excess falling down and the edges you're making sure that they are lifted up and not downwards just give it a nice shimmy and press make sure it's all in place okay so this completes it this is our falsies all done all right you guys so this was my very simple technique on how i apply false eyelashes if you have any more questions about falsies or any of the other videos of the beginners makeup series then you can leave your questions in the comment section below and i will answer them for you i hope you guys enjoyed this beginners makeup series and got to learn a lot of things which usually i am not able to explain in like a full blown makeup tutorial so i decided to break it down for you guys if there are any more videos you want to see from me or any video recommendations then, then please leave them as well in the comment section and i will see you in my next video until then don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you guys in the next video next sunday bye guys love you all